Here's a quick overview of Smart Insights from Tensor IoT, powered by AWS. When I first log into Smart Insights, I can see all of my sites on a worldwide basis. My sites have a number of assets, and each of those assets has a number of properties. So I can look at individual sites. When I zoom into a particular site, I can see exactly what assets we have there. I can see an overview of the floor layout. That could be a 3D rendering as we have here. It could be a flow diagram. I can see the individual assets that are aligned on the floor of the factory. When I click into one of them, I can ex immediately see the details of the particular uh, asset itself, in this case, a PLC. I can pick individual measurements and, and see those properties directly reflected uh, right away. So let's go back home and let's have a look at a different uh, area of the world. Let me zoom in on a site in Germany. So here I click into this particular site. And again, I have a different view of the floor layout in this particular site. But likewise, I have my assets placed around the site. When I click into an individual asset, I'm immediately taken to a diagram. You can see here, this is not a PLC. We've actually got sensors connected directly to some equipment to give us some readings, which we can instantly have a look at. We can change the time frame we're viewing, and we can use this handy time scrubber to quickly zoom in and out at any level of detail to see precisely the information that we need. In addition for any of the assets, we can also turn on anomaly detection. So we can use machine learning to look at the health of an asset in a particular date range and discover whether or not there have been anomalies in performance. If we see an anomaly, we can click on it for more information. We can see all of the sources of data that are contributing to the machine learning model identifying an anomaly in the equipment. Then as a process engineer, I can either validate or invalidate that anomaly to train the model over time so that I can use this for predictive maintenance and other types of use cases. So I can retrain the model directly within Smart Insights. We can also extend Smart Insights with a number of dashboards and visualizations. So instead of looking at individual assets, I could look across an entire plant and I can look at a date range. In this case, I'm looking at the last seven days, but I can also zoom in to a particular time frame that I want to see more information and I can go down to, in this case, the hourly level to see production against a particular threshold that's been defined here. Uh, likewise, with machine learning, I can look at the health of individual assets uh, and get inferences back as to whether or not something needs to be serviced or a technician needs to look at that particular piece of equipment. And likewise, I can zoom in on any particular time frame and immediately drill down to see individual data points and readings for a particular uh, point in time. I can create a number of different views there, so I always have the ability to zoom in and be able to uh, look at the direct details of the data hour by hour or second by second at whatever level of information makes sense for my particular need. And again, we can always include machine learning so that we can detect anomalies and look at differences in performance between like pieces of equipment. That's a quick overview of Smart Insights from Tensor IoT powered by AWS.